We start a new recording. It's almost an hour. So how long is it gonna take? You think? Mm, two episodes. Now, when you say two episodes, Jason, three episodes. Do you mean two eleven-minute episodes, or do you mean two? God damn it! Pause the timer. Minute episodes, because the second one. Because <laughs> <laughs> that could be that could be forty minutes. Potatoes. Yeah, that's great, huh? We, go, we gotta start the episode before you start hitting scrot face in the Sorry. head. Hey, everybody, it's us. Oh, great, great, great! Start the episode. Is this guy played by Patrick Stewart? No, he's just a guy. <laughs> just, a, just a guy. He's just a guy. Well, no, no. In fact, it actually <laughs> played by Steve Stewart. No relation. <laughs> No relation. They thought that he was related, and they said, we want him. He's bald, he he's just British. Like him. Yeah. It, he's got well, jiggly janglies. Just like oh, Patrick shit, Stewart. I died. No. Nah, I'm kidding. Goose. I'm We've kidding. been eaten by this guy before. Yeah, it's true. He's you gone got me. down on us before. You got me. You got me. We think ladies you love his little, his little jangles. I think lady serpents do. Yeah? That's like where his little things are. That's his things? That's where his potency is. Ew! Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. So is that the peen? Or is that the No, scrub? that's the jangles. So his jizz is right next to his nose? It, well... Tasting, his... like, smelling and tasting food must be terrible for him. Uh, jizz smells uh, gross. Oh, no. I've never had the pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> You've never gotten a whip of jizz before? <laughs> no! Moving on. <laughs> <gasps> Holy cow, we're really doing it. And at last I see the light. I don't know the rest of the words. That's from Tangled. <laughs> <laughs> I just know I just know the one Tangled song, and I just know the premise where it's like, I want to be a pianist. <laughs> where it's all the tough guys. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Rapunzel? Are you in the room? I love that song, though. That's the I, one song from Tangled that I really enjoy. Oh, I like it, too. What, uh... I don't know how it starts either now. Um, and violence wise, my hands are not the cleanest. Mm. And my goiter and my nose. I've always wanted to be yeah, a concert pianist. pianist. Yeah. <laughs> I love Can't that you song. see me in the. Oh, fuck. The, the, but so in Mozart. Tickling the ivories till they scream. That really is like the it's only song, song I remember from Rapunzel, from, from Tangled, that whole movie. Yeah. Not bad. Not a bad movie. Not a bad movie at all. Better yeah. than Frozen, in my opinion. And I never liked Tangled to begin with. This guy. This guy. Who do you think he is with his horns and his with sword his and his antlers and his stupid dumb skirt thing? All the things there we you have. Go. There you oh, go. Oh, God, dude, you just ripped him a new one. Yeah, you I literally sure did. ripped him a new one. Ooh, and I got a tight knife. Straight chunk. up. Uh, did you. Never mind. Did I what? You only got 14 flasks. I don't need all of them. Okay. This is a very short area. Is it? Yeah. There's... Where, what, where is this? this why is, does it look this like is this? This is the kiln of the first flame. This is where, like, they discovered. Is that why it's all ashy? Yeah. It's good. That was a good backstab. Thanks. There you go. That was a good one. I like this guy's sword. He's got a cool sword. Oh, yeah. You want it? I they do. drop it sometimes. Oh, don't, why do you get my hopes up like that? Is I it think, better than the one you got? I think I might have one. <gasps> Can we use the dragon greatsword now? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I completely forgot about the dragon greatsword. Why did we stop using it? Oh, my God. I don't think we ever started using it because, because of that. Because your strength was low and you couldn't swing it with great dexterity. I mean, my, I mean... And Vigor. Oh, I remember. No? Is that not it? There, it does, it's got like a special move. Yeah? Yeah. Can't remember what it is. Um, oh, well, we'll figure it out as we go. That's the fun of playing video games with your best friend. <laughs> Learning new things as Learning you go. new things together. And they say video games can't teach you anything. Video games taught me that if you encounter enemies, you're going in the right direction. You're not an asshole. No. You're just... That, that is actually a good life lesson. I hate that. What? I hate it. What? If you're encountering enemies, you're going in the right direction. I think it's so stupid. 
What I think you, I what? think that's just a way for people to justify like having people dislike them. And look, there's a difference. No, no, if you make it metaphorical and you and you really bring it home, yeah, use the other thing. What's the enchanted falchion? Uh it's like a Sounds short cool. sword. Um if you make it metaphorical and like if you're going through strife, <gasps> yeah, there we go. You got their stuff like I was just talking about with yeah. the skirt and the horns. I didn't get the the sword though. That's fine. Is their armor better than yours? I doubt it. I don't think Your armor's so. really cool. Yeah, and it just looks cool. It does. Your and skirt's way better than their skirt. Honestly, that counts for a lot more. It does. Style points is really... I gotta say. the whole point. Anyway, getting deep for a minute. Yeah. If you're, like, if you're encountering enemies, it means you're going the right direction. You know, if you're facing strife in your life, you know, oh, life yeah. is, life's not always going to be easy. So if you're going through, and something, and it's tough, and you gotta fight through it, keep going. You keep muscling through, because you're going in the right... God damn, dude, that guy's got right. hops! And they say white man can't jump. <laughs> they say white man can't jump. No, I think this was the... It, it, the armor he just picked up was the... Black Knight armor, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So... I guess I can't really say white man can't jump. I got the Black Knight. Martin Lawrence is the Black Knight over here. Am I right? You... You he right. Went, he went... You right, man. Back in time! Have you ever seen that movie? No. Me neither. I just know of it. It's like not as good. Uh... Got a black. Oh, you got shield. a shield now. Those, wait, those are black knights. Yeah, that's why I said it. Okay, awesome. It's like the knight is not as good knight's tale. Oh, there's another one. Martin Lawrence is not the knight's tale. They all have a different weapon. I like that. It shows diversity, which is something that's strongly needed in the evil workplace. <laughs> I thought you were saying like the black knight community. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit, I ran right into that one. Come on, dude. It's open, true. Open, uh, open up to me. Evil, cynical employers really look for diversity in their in their warriors. It's an important. It's an important trait. It's an important uh, skill to have. It, yeah, it, it's a good. It brings a lot of just good mojo to the. You no, know, if everyone comes in and says, place. "Yeah, I'm proficient with lances," well, you know what? We can't put you in the electronic section with that kind of proficiency. All right, we need you to have more than that. We need you to have a little bit more gusto, a little bit more I want to learn. You know what I'm saying? Maybe change your shield. Is your sh is their shield better than yours? Because your shield kind of looks stupid. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not. Ha Havel's. Havel's. Havel's great shield, but that's going to be too heavy. Is it? Theirs is worse, so. And, ah, uh, shoot. The only thing is that... Ah, shoot. Ah, shit, man. Ah, damn it. The only thing is that, uh... Not ah, crud. He's he's really he's he's really weak to or he's really good against lightning. Oh yeah. So I can't use lightning. So I've got to use this great sword that I've never used before. Great. Gr oh, dude, look at this guy. Uh huh. Oh, it's Gwyn. Yeah, dude. He looks awesome, dude. He's like the opposite of the Lich King from uh, from World of Warcraft. He's got the same helmet, so he's got a fire sword instead of the cool ice sword. You gonna hit him or what? Yeah, I already hit him once. Be patient. I need... Ah, oh shit. I need to get my stamina, dude. You need to get that stamina up. You don't have the stamina to be president, Jace. <laughs> he doesn't have the look to be a dark lord. <laughs> Alright, no politics. Jace, you gotta... Jace! Look, I'm trying, man. You, you gotta... You gotta get out of there. You can't just sit there and, and take it. I think... Use the Falchion. I'm not using the Use something fast. I'm not using the foul For shot. every one time it's you not that. Swung, it's the, it's the rolling. He swung like seven times. So here's here's what I need to do. Can you imbue your other sword with something else? No, not without not without ruining it. Okay, here's what I think I'm gonna do. What about the great axe? Was oh, that two handed? Yeah. Well, we'll do that. Let's I'm gonna see how much it does. I'm gonna change my armor. Why? To make um, you lighter? To make me lighter so that, see this, see, well not that, this roll right here. Yeah, it does take a long time for you to get up. So I'm thinking Ooh. I need, I need light armor, I need a, a lighter shield with good fire resist. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I hear you. I hear what you're throwing down, bro. Yeah, dude, but Gwen, he's, like, this is, this is where the, the first flame is and he's, like, using his own life force to make sure that it is Look not going to go out. these guys again, huh? That really sucks. He's like, he's like Ra from Gods of Egypt. 
The summer blockbuster hit. Dude, don't even talk to me about Gods of Egypt. Did you see it? No, I didn't see it. Wasn't it? It was so good, Jace. It, first of all... It was the movie of the year. Hollywood has a problem. Oscar nominated. With using white people. <laughs> and look, I'm... Well, I'm not going to say that I'm not a proponent of social justice, because I, I don't buy into the whole sus- social justice warrior thing. But there's definitely stuff going on that could be done a lot better. Like, a lot differently. You know? And it starts with how how we depict... Uh, Egyptians <laughs> for one maybe not make them white oh man maybe not make them european i i'm just i'm just saying look you you pitch that movie anyone comes up to you and pitches that movie the first person you think of is Gerard Butler you it is a crime it he, is it is a, a hate crime it's pretty cool jace to not put Gerard Butler in that movie yeah all right it, you know what it is? It's a it's a diversity hire because it's a bunch of Egyptians. So you gotta hire the white guy. You gotta hire the white guy to be the Egyptian. <sighs> look, and, honestly, and damn it, he did it. Yeah, but I mean, even draw ball, he don't look white. I mean, what Scottish man has a tan like that? That man is beautiful. Okay, let's be honest. Except oh, for no, his he's... weird like like underbite thing he's got going on. Oh yeah, no, he's over like, like this. Or like like a like a like a like a pit bull. He's a handsome man. Oh yeah. But I mean, I I I just think really any anyone else, because Django Unchained proved you could make just a super cool badass movie without having a a white a white lead. Of course, they did have Leo DiCaprio as yeah. their villain, and and he was a very good villain. And, I've been on a real Tarantino kick lately. Oh, I just watched A kick all... we'll talk about on the next episode. Okay. Oh! Stay tuned because it's going to be exciting for all you movie buffs out there. Play us off next episode, Bird. Oh. Ah! <laughs> there you go. My bad. I'm...